Taking you live down to New South Wales Police Headquarters, an update on the situation involving 95-year-old Claire Nolan being tasered in her Cooma nursing home. Been in contact on the ground there at Cooma with our officers, our senior police who have been with the family and been at the equally at the bedside of Claire since Wednesday. Liaising with the family, talking to them, talking to them candidly about what has occurred and what we know so um, thus far. As a senior member of the organisation and on behalf of the Commissioner of Police, I've also spoken with one of the daughters who was essentially the spokesperson on behalf of the family. We have extended, again, our sympathy and our concern for what they've gone through over the last couple of days and Claire's health. I've ensured them that an investigation, an independent investigation, is underway and that we, the police, treat this matter with extreme significance. On Wednesday morning, the 17th, police were called to the nursing home in Cooma. The call was along the lines of one of the patients, Claire, having a knife in her possession. Paramedics responded, police responded, and Claire was located within the nursing home facility. At the time, she was in a room. She did have a knife in her hand, and it is fair to say that she was armed with that knife. The knife in question is a steak knife, a serrated edge knife, that she had obtained from the kitchen area of the nursing home a couple of hours earlier. Negotiations commenced with Claire to essentially drop the knife. For whatever reasons, Claire did not do that. One of the police officers who responded, a senior constable, activated his taser, which struck Claire, whereby she fell to the ground striking her head. Immediate medical care and attention was delivered to Claire by the nursing staff and the paramedics and also the officers involved. As a result of that injury to her head, she was taken to the Cooma District Hospital, which is where she remains today. It is equally fair to say that she is in a state of ill health. It is, she is a 95 year old lady who suffers from some of the general frailties of that age. But the injury that she suffered as a result of hitting her head on the floor has rendered her bedridden at the moment. I'm not in a position to talk about her diagnosis or essentially her prognosis, except to say that she remains in a critical condition and her family and extended family surround her and have done since about midday on Wednesday. There are significant concerns clearly for her health and where that may lead. Following on from that specific incident, an investigation was commenced. As is the norm, when during a police operation or a police response and someone is injured, whether that be a member of the public, whether it be the police themselves, or whether it be an offender, or perhaps in this case, Claire. An investigation is commenced, and that's called a critical incident investigation. 
Given what was before us at midday on Wednesday, this investigation was nominated as a level one critical incident. The criteria for a level one critical incident classification is that an injury that leads to death or imminent death and with exceptional circumstances attached to it leads it to be classified in the highest level of investigation that we can do internally around a matter. The policies state that in a level one critical incident the homicide squad are involved and that is because of their independence both geographically and also geographically to the southern region and obviously to Cooma, but also their specialist skill sets in dealing with protracted, complicated and complex legal matters that surround potentially coronial investigations or clearly deaths as a result of homicide. And there are internal protocols and policies which have long been entrenched. That investigation commenced, as I said, upon its declaration midday on Wednesday and continues today and will continue on. As a result of that, numerous people will be spoken to, witnesses, both family, those present, the police, statements will be taken, an investigation will be ultimately reviewed by the Professional Standards Command of the New South Wales Police Force, with clearly oversight by the Law Enforcement Conduct Commission of New South Wales. As we meet here today, the status or the health of Claire is that she still remains in hospital. She remains in and out of consciousness. Her family are with her. She is comfortable, but I'm not privy to talk any more about her absolute health, diagnosis or prognosis. On behalf of the family, who we have spoken to today, they literally don't want to say too much. They don't want to say too much through me as a conveyor of, of any message, and equally they don't want to say too much personally to the press. What they have asked of us is to express on behalf of them that if they could be left alone to um, attend to their mother, grandmother, and because her health and their sadness at this stage, to be fair, is their main concern. So we ask that the media just give them a little bit of a little bit of time to understand their situation and deal with Claire's position.